What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Machine Builder's custom structure generator using the feature rule, which is basically put in really cool structures and builds and other really cool stuff like my Better's Trees add-on in unexplored chunks so they don't spawn all over the place and stuff. Uh, this is a really good program, it's a really good feature. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Machine Builder and you know everything like that so i'm just going to quickly say that you need to go ahead and create a brand new world i have a world here that i'm going to go ahead and load and this is just for tutorial purposes just so that you guys can see what we're doing what we're going to go over and how we're going to do it i'm going to create this tower of magma blocks and i'm going to have it generate everywhere just so you guys can see you're going to need to create a brand new world build whatever structure or whatever it is that you want inside of that you know add on to be go ahead and get the coordinates so this is actually uh, 0 4 1 and probably about 30 blocks tall so I'm just gonna save and quit and what we're gonna do is head over to machine builders YouTube channel let me just go ahead and quickly close this go ahead and go to the YouTube and go to machine builders YouTube video you guys can go to this one I'll have a download in my video as well uh, go ahead and click this you know Hit the like button and go ahead and go like my comment says Daycom was here or comment the same thing just so we can spam him and he'd know uh, that I sent you guys and stuff. Uh, but you can go to this website, download is on my website. Go ahead and click that and you can get the download from Machine Builder. Guys, let's try and hit him to 500 uh, subscribers. That would be insane. And if we could get him to 500 likes as well, that's only 400 and like 41 left. So that would be awesome. You'll go here. It's going to say that it's too big to scan for a virus, but don't worry, guys. It's totally safe. You guys can trust us. Uh, go ahead and download anyway. Once you've downloaded that, you'll get this little feature rule, you know, zip file. Go ahead and open it up and then create a brand new folder. It doesn't matter what the folder is. I created this one. It's called Daycon's Cool. Uh, drag these over, all of these, and put it in there or extract it, whatever you like, whatever is your fancy. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and load up the file itself. I won't have all this stuff, but when whenever you do the ones you dragged over, go ahead and double click feature generator rule. Once you've done that, it will pop up this command prompt. It'll go through, say that it didn't work. Go ahead and type in true. Once you do that, press enter in the command prompt after it's done loading. Uh, you know what? Let me just show you guys that because it'd probably just be better. Let me create a brand new folder. Just, you know, just folder. There it goes. Let's go to this. Grab it, drag it in. I'm a noob at tutorials, guys. Leave a like to help me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and exit out of this. It's going to go through a whole bunch of virus scans and everything if you have all of that. But let's go ahead and click this. And all you're going to do is double click the feature rule.exe. Go to more info, run anyway. It's going to be fine. I'm just going to show you everything, all the steps to get to opening the program. Actually, I need to go to select world. There it goes. All right, so it'll pop up something like this. Just go ahead and run the program anyway. And it'll come up to this new command prompt. Once it does that, it's going to load. Look for the internet connection. It's going to look for the license and everything. But don't worry. All you have to do is type in true after it loads everything, like I said. So here it goes. It's going to find all this. You can exit out of the license and just type in true. Once you do that, it's going to download the files. Open up the program like so. Here we go. We have a brand new folder program. Let's go ahead and exit out of these. Uh, and we'll start with a brand new one. So we're going to be using this one instead of the Daycon is cool. We're going to be using new folder too. So I'm just going to leave that like that. All you have to do now is go to select a world. And we already have the M build selected. But if you're going to look for a world, go to you could select a world or go to browse files. You can come over here and look for your new Minecraft folder. Go ahead and select and load into memory. Once you load it into memory, go to select a region. And you can uh, left click and right click on the build. So if you go up here, right click, left click like so. Or you could go right click and left click and it'll build that. Or right click and left click for a single build. Uh, and then you'll come over here to select the regions. So we had a 0 and a 1, I believe. And let's go ahead and go to 11, just so that we could see the actual build. So I'm going to right click and left click to select the tower here. Once we do that, go ahead and export selected region. You can add presets. I'm going to go ahead and add all presets just for the tutorial purpose, guys. You, Like I said, if you want to go check out a more in-depth, go to Machine Builder 
he'll give you a more in-depth. I don't want no biomes. I want to remove those. I don't want them blacklisted. That means they won't spawn here. These are all the spawnable biomes. He has all the biome tags here, so you get to pick and choose which biomes they spawn in. You can also go to spawn placement setup. Uh, underground minimum Y height, so it's 30 to 100. You can change that to 64 to 100, or if you want it to be in the sky, you could do uh, 100 and 110 or something uh, for sky builds. You can do sky limits and sky height and things like that. This is just the underground. Uh, once you do that, go ahead and I already have these selected. Go to align chunks. You could save to the palette or not. That's totally up to you. You could go ahead and just select these. You could include air blocks if it's something that requires the the air blocks and you don't want them to be covered in stuff. Uh, I recommend going ahead and including air blocks, but because it's a tower, I shouldn't have to because it's just for the tutorial i don't have to but i recommend you guys go ahead and do that once you've done that all you have to do is just generate json files it'll say completed right here and as you guys see i now have an output and output rules inside of my new folder so i'm going to go ahead and just select this new folder again or this folder and we're going to go to the minecraft files so let's just go to this one uh, and we're going to go here and we're going to go to our behavior and the one that i have is for the better trees I'm going to go to the feature rule and all I'm going to do is just drag these over. Now you can change the custom names if you want inside of the file itself, which I'll also show you in just a second. Let's go to feature rule or the feature go here and you're just going to select all these. So control A and then drag these over. So already 72 blocks. So that's pretty neat. Now we have that done where we can just exit out of that. Now I kind of wanted to show you guys this as well. If you want it to... Um, well, like if you want it to be a different name uh, right here, the structure name, just change that to uh, Magma Tower. There you go. And then just create the JSON files again. And then come over here and you can see Magma Tower and feature rule Magma Tower. So that's how that would work. That's, you know, it's really easy. It's a super easy program. Guys, subscribe to him on YouTube. Donate if you have any money and you think the program's awesome. That's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Minecraft. Let's go ahead and load up a brand new world and check out our new add-on, which adds in these uh, magma little towers to the game. So I'm going to go to Creative. I'm going to go ahead and enable Experimental Gameplay, and let's go to Multiplayer Off. There's no resource. It's just a behavior pack. Better Trees, Activate, and click Play Create. So this is pretty neat. It's a really helpful add-on, guys, or a helpful program that allows you to make really cool add-ons. I plan on using this with, like, Lucky Block, Tinker's Construct, and a bunch of other cool add-ons that I have in mind. It's really easy to follow, guys. It's super easy. Now, if you need any help or anything, go to my Discord, go to Machine Builders YouTube, and do whatever, you know, you can ask us and stuff, get a hold and everything. Uh, so there we go. We already have all of these spawning everywhere. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so I kind of wanted to show you real quick. You see how often they spawn because I clicked all the biomes, and they're just spawning everywhere. Uh, we don't want that. It's, too, it's spawning too much, right, guys? So what you will do is go to Spawn Placement. And the spawn scatter chance of 1 to 100. We have it at 5. You could change that for how often it you know, will spawn, which is pretty neat. And that's basically it. So if you want it to be like super far apart, you could do 50. Um, and they'll be with, you know, it's like a 50% chance basically of where it'll spawn. It's pretty neat. I like the way it is. Uh, the lower the number, I believe, the higher the, the, higher the number, the lower. Uh, from what I've seen. I, I could be wrong, but that's totally up to you guys. Oh, I exited out of Minecraft on accident. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. Let me know. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you like to see more awesome community stuff, builds, add-ons, commands, tutorials, maps, whatever, comment those in the comment section below so I know what to make for you guys in the future. Have a nice day. I'm Daycom Black Rose, and I'm out.